go back. The seventh time, the servant reported, a small cloud, as small as a man's hand, is rising from the sea. Right? And what that kills me, or rather that strikes me, is the seven times Elijah says, go back. So the servant ran back seven times to check for the rain, if it's coming, right? And I think as an epilogue to our conversation about waiting on the Lord, I'm now realizing that, you know, we need to be expectant. Like, we were talking about waiting as, you know, a period that's tough, as a period that, of, like, requires God to, the Lord to um, strengthen us and help us endure through it. But how about also incorporating a level of expectancy, of excitement, of waiting on the Lord joy in your heart because you know that he will do it. Um, I'm struck by how many times Elijah just was patient and just was like, go back and check again, expecting it to rain, you know? How many times would you have checked? I know I would have probably checked like three times at the most, I'm not going to lie. As for seven, that means you know that, no, God is going to come through. And you know what? I'm going to keep checking until he does. And that's just the expectancy and the positivity. And just, you know, when you're banking on the fact, I think last time I also shared that if we focus on who we're waiting with, we'll remember that God is faithful. We'll remember that actually there are many times before that his word came true. If you track back in Kings to, um, I want to say, was it was it 18? No, Kings 17. If you track back to Kings 17, God gave Elijah a word to go somewhere specific and hide and he'll feed him there. And he fed him there. Like when Elijah went, he fed him there in like unconventional ways. Like the Lord provided with like birds bringing him bread in his hiding place to eat whilst there was a drought. So for sure, that's what Elijah is remembering to say, no, the Lord has been providing for me. Challenge everybody um, past the spring day. It's a new season, guys. It's a new season. Like we've been knowing who you're waiting on knowing that he is faithful and he will get it done. Okay, now it's been a little bit too long. Sorry for Sunday. Thanks, bye. Have a good weekend. Love you. feel so well rested i had an amazing sleep um still have impact 
but yeah the plan is to just like get ready once and then just lay everything out i do need to still do the clicks run and um very quickly for like the rest of the toiletries so i'll do that quickly and then come back and pack everything it should be fine it should be fine samuel now samuel did not yet know the lord nor For starters, I'm just laying out all of my clothes, just trying to decide what it is that I might want to pack. I figure while I do this, let me just catch you guys up on all of the travel prep so far. So how I came about this trip, you guys, uh, there was another one I was supposed to go to, but it fell through. It literally didn't make it out the group chat. But I decided I'm still getting on a flight this year, Cha. I gotta unlock my international girl era. So I just decided on a different location in terms of a place I've always wanted to visit. Gave myself about a week to mull over it and decide and then pulled the trigger and booked my flight accommodation as well as airport transfer in one go. I just wanted to make sure that all the basics are covered and that I'm committed, no looking back. I mean, I have some stuff that I'm pulling out here, but I knew that I wanted um, some vacation looks for this trip that I needed to order online. I needed to make sure that they make it on time. So my second phase of travel prep was to book the itinerary in terms of the activities that I plan to get up to and what looks um, would be required for those. And then third phase was the fun part that you guys would have seen in my previous upload in terms of maintenance and getting my look and last minute prep together. So now it's time to pull it all together and hit the road, child. So as I'm pulling things out, I'm making sure to be properly packing my drawers. I definitely do not want to leave a mess. And it helped that I cleaned my room before I started packing so that everything is already pre-organized and I can see what's what and lying where. So I'm just going to get done with this quickly. I'm being non-discriminate. I'm literally pulling everything out that I feel like I might want to take. And then I'm going to edit down as it goes into the suitcase. Just picking things up and tidying up as I go as well. Naturally, I've checked the weather to this place that I'm going to and I know it's going to be super hot. So I'm prioritizing lightweight, um, breezy summer things and I'm leaving all of the long sleeve, um, long leggings and stuff behind. And yeah, now I want to decide what I'm going to wear today and just go and shower and get changed up and then we'll come back to start packing. So now to sort through um, the clean clothes that I had washed last night, I did a whole lot of laundry because a lot of the clothes were sitting in my laundry hamper. I needed just to make sure I have sight of those and get everything clean and then decide what it is that I want to be bringing with me. As you can see, I'm trying to be an organized, methodical girly with this only because I'm usually the worst packer. I always bring a whole lot of stuff that I don't need that's unnecessary. And then the things that I do want and need, I realize that I've forgotten at home. So I really wanted to approach this with a strategy and a plan. So now I'm just getting ready to head out for my last minute toiletry run just to get other travel size stuff that I just didn't have already. Right, so let's take a moment to think here. What exactly do I need? Uh -huh. I didn't buy an extra memory card. Okay, I'm gonna have to get that. Cause I had a list that I had going you guys and um, that's what I'm checking now. Okay, I need toothpaste, I need new tissue, I need new deodorant, I need tampons now, jeez. Um, 
Okay. To, I need to try to find a place to buy an extra memory card. So hopefully one of these places are open. Alright, let's do that. Alright, I'll see you guys when I get back, yeah? Alright guys, I just got back from um, clicks. Y'all seen what I got. Um, so nice that actually like the woolly stuff like this and this was actually 25% off. So yeah, y'all look out for that if you see it. I'm not sure how long it's valid, but usually it gives like while well, stocks last type of thing. But yeah, now it's time to really pack. First up, I am grabbing my online haul in terms of my vacation looks. Please look out for this video, guys. I will be dropping it soon. But I just want to pack that in first so that I make sure that I don't forget anything because I do plan to record all of these looks as I wear them on vacation. I'm bringing one checked bag and one carry-on. So with my carry-on, I'm just going to put in there stuff I want immediate access to. I will be flying out quite late, so I do want to change of clothes into something warmer because it is quite hot today and it gets quite cold on the plane. So I'm going to be putting that stuff there and in my big case I'm going in my whole looks first And I just roll everything up um, to try and save space and fit it all in. Now the whites, I'm a bit skeptical. I didn't really get the time to properly wash this case and I'm borrowing it from my brother. So because it's not that clean, I don't want my whites to get dirty um, from the case. So I'm just packing them into a plastic uh, cover just to protect them. I am taking some workout clothes. I don't know who's going to be going to the gym. I'm hoping it would be me, <laughs> but I'm just organizing that and packing it in as well. Now I got this little nifty thing from Shein as well, you guys, I will link it down below, but it's basically an underwear organizer. Now what I hate is if I am forced to open up my checked case in the airport, I don't want my like underwear spilling all over the place. It's kind of happened before, it's so embarrassing. So I'm packing everything into this little organizers. It's got spaces for like your underwear, underwear, it's got a pouch in the middle where I'll be putting some of my more scantier underwear and then the other side I'm going to be packing my bras and socks into that. In my pre-packing, I kind of organized everything into zones. So I have my clothing zone, which is my bed, and my dresser table, I put all of my bags and accessories and sunglasses. So I just move over to that location and start packing up all of my accessories. I pack them into my handbags to kind of protect them because I forgot to buy a toiletry holder. So now I'm just spraying in my fragrances i got these little bottles from shein as well and i'm just decanting some of my fragrances into travel sized containers for the airport i see everyday perfume by giorgio armani i already have a travel size for that so that was clear and then my miss dior i did check and it is within the travel size uh regulation so i'm gonna be packing that into my carry-on as well I absolutely love these toiletry bags that I got from Woolies, you guys. I will try link down below, but if you go 
to them now they are 25% off now it comes in the smallest size where I'm packing in my carry-on um, toiletries I did decant my skincare into these small bottles that I'll be packing in because I do plan to wash my face before getting onto the plane and hopefully take a shower because I did book a lounge um, and they have showers there and stuff so I'm just packing everything I would need for that For the middle sized one, I'm just packing more of my um, shower supplies as well as tampons and my toothbrush. So I got this kind of pill container case from Clix um, because I want to pack in my vitamins instead of the, uh, bringing on all these bulky cases. Packing in my multivitamin, my um, healthy fats as well as my probiotics for each day that I'm going to be on the trip. So in the big toiletry case, I just packed everything else in it that is not necessarily travel size, you know, shower gels, sunscreens and the like. I'm bringing my workout shoes, not sure who's going to be working out, but I hope it's going to be me. And yeah, just packing in that half, as well as my makeup brushes, just packing in that half of the checked case and then closing it up. I'm hoping I'm able to close this. And I'm not gonna bother weighing, I just know the size of the case itself is within the specification. So I'm not likely to be um, overweight there. It's your carry on. No, I mean, take a backpack, bro. Just in case. Just in case they give you an issue. Okay. Can I borrow a backpack? Yeah. Oh, mine is dirty. So in my carry-on, I packed an empty backpack just in case my checked luggage is overweight that I can take out some items, put them in the backpack, and then carry them on. So here I am just touching up the packing. I'm packing my tick. Um, my card readers, my, um, what's this, cables and stuff. I got this little cable holder case from Shein as well. I will link it down below. Really nifty to just organize my tote bag because I don't want wires like flying everywhere. So my tote is like my tech case or rather I'm carrying everything um, that's valuable in this bag. So it'll have my laptop, my camera or my cables and this bag that I'm unpacking now, I got it from Shein as well. It's just like a major case where I will just be putting my passport, printing all of my visas and stuff and stuffing them in there as well as um, any, you know, of my cards and stuff so that everything is easy access without having to have a wallet and rooting around in my tote bag for everything else. So I just wanted to repack everything in this case and it really was um, nifty. I'll link it down below, you guys. Shein for the win with this travel prep, that's for sure. And look out for my Shein vlog where I'll be going through the rest of the items that I got and wore. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much all set now. And yeah, just packing in my 
headphones. I put my speaker in my bag as well, or rather in my carry-on, because then my tote was getting a bit too full. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to hit the road now. And I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below any sort of packing tips that you have, any strategies for my next trip. I will take those into account. Love you guys and see y'all on vacation.